so here let us consider this as the line l which is perpendicular to line m so here it is the first case so here l is perpendicular to m then in the second case so here m must be perpendicular in the second case we have chosen m is perpendicular to n then now here m is perpendicular to n so here m and n are perpendicular they are at right angles so here m and l are perpendicular they are at right angles together so here therefore here we can write the second one as so here m is perpendicular to n but here when we observe so here l and n so l must be perpendicular to n then only so here the relation is said to be a trans transitive but here l and n are not perpendicular but they are parallel so here but l is parallel to n so here therefore so here r is not a transitive is not a transitive relation therefore it is confirmed that the relation that is is perpendicular to is not a trans transitive so here hence r the relation is perpendicular to is not a transitive relation then now let us go for this next one that is equivalence relation fifth one which is nothing but the equivalence relation a relation is said to be called as an equivalence relation if that particular relation even we consider it as r the r is said to be an equivalence relation if and only if that relation is a reflexive one symmetric one and as well as the transitive one so here if a relation is reflexive transitive and as well as symmetric then only it will be called as an equivalence relation then now here the definition is of so here a relation r in a set a is said to be an equivalence relation if and only if r is that is the relation r is reflexive that is it must be reflexive one symmetric and as well as the transitive so in case if a relation r is of reflexive symmetric and as well as transitive then that particular relation r is said to be called as an equivalence relation then now here let us illustrate by means of one example then the illustration starts now so under this illustration in the set of all real numbers the relation we are going to consider it as the r is defined by means of e is equals to so here the property of the relation is of e is equals to 
then so here if a is an element which belongs to the set a which belongs to set a then now that implies so here a comma a also belongs to the relation r because here the properties of is equals to so here a is equals to a so therefore a real number is equals to the real number itself therefore the property holds good so here therefore so here hence r is a reflexive one then now so in this case so here in the second case so this is the first one under this then the second one is of to be a transitive one a comma b belongs to r then b comma a also must belongs to r so here if a comma b are the two elements which belongs to the set a belongs to the relation r ordered pair a comma b belongs to r so that implies b comma a also will belongs to r so here when we assume so here a and b are the two elements but the property is of is equals to if a is equals to b then now here belongs to r b is equals to a so here b comma a also will belongs to r so here then r is a symmetric one since the op since the property under this or the formula is of is equals to therefore the equal to the relation r is equals to is a symmetric one then the third one to be a transitive one so let us consider three cases here three elements of which belongs to set a so here if a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r so here the relation is of a and e is equals to if a is equals to b and b is equals to c then a also a a also will be equals to c that is so that implies so here a comma c also will belongs to r so here the relation that is e is equals to holds good therefore the relation r is a transitive one because if a is equals to b the relation is of the properties of is equals to if a is equals to b and if a b is equals to c then automatically a also will be equals to c therefore here relation r is said to be called as a transitive one so here since if a is equals to b and b is equals to c then a also will be equals to c so here hence we can write the relation r is a transitive one so here in all these three cases the relation is a reflexive one symmetric one and as well as the transitive so here thereby we can see that the relation r is said to be called as an equivalence relation so here since from three cases it is clear that relation that is r is reflexive symmetric and also transitive hence relation r is an e equivalence relation